we've uh, got a connection now with the founder and CEO of Up TV, Charlie Humbert. Charlie, we welcome you to America's Forum. Well, thank you. It's great to be with you today. Well, the story of bringing the Passion of the Christ to the small screen. How were you able to arrange this? Well, it uh, actually was probably easier than most people think. Uh, we literally called up the distributor and said we wanted to showcase it here on the 10th anniversary and uh, worked out a uh, program acquisition deal, much like you would any other movie. Um, I think people had uh, didn't have their focus on it probably as, uh, on this anniversary, maybe as they should have. I think it's a, a great film for us to have and to celebrate Easter with. Now, Charlie, the movie, of course, was watched by a lot of people. We just talked about its box office success here. Um, Mel Gibson, a big part in, in, in this movie, his career has not uh, gone on a trajectory that he would like, and I'm sure. Do you think that's part of the reason why this movie uh, isn't talked about as much as maybe it should be? You know, it's a, it's a great question on Mel. I can't speak, uh, you know, because I have not spoken to Mel about this film. But, um, you know, from what I have read and what I understand about it, um, look, I think Mel, as he made this film, had a lot of uh, his own personal struggles uh, that came out through this film. I think it was a very personal film for him to make. So it starts with a very personal connection. I think as Hollywood looked at this film, you know, it, it's great how they sometimes want to be so controversial on these subjects, but they forget you're making a film not for them, you're making a film for the audiences across America. And I think as you look at the, 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 gr the gross box office of over $600 million, uh, you understand that this was a film that really reached and touched people's hearts and and did the things I think that Mel set out to do as far as making a, a very impactful uh, telling of this story. And and to say it was impactful is perhaps an understatement, Charlie. Uh, we, we can talk about the gross figures from, from the box office, but what I can remember when my wife and I went to see this motion picture was being almost speechless because there there is a, a tendency, and it, I, I don't believe there's anything diabolical about it, but at times there's a tendency to trivialize the essence of Christianity, uh, the, the old saying, gentle, G, gentle Jesus, meek and mild, and the cross failing to have the weight of the sacrifice and the horrors that it meant to be executed in that way. And for those who are believers, really what that engenders, and I think that was the essence of the movie, and sadly it was attacked as being perhaps excessively violent, but obviously that is something that sticks with me to this day, and of course you are bringing it to the small screen now, courtesy of Up TV. Yeah, we're really excited about that. I just want to comment on what you're saying, too, because it had the same effect on um, just recently, again, when I decided to uh, acquire this for this Easter celebration. Um, I watched it with my family. I have 14, 15-year-old uh, teenagers who are very skeptical, of course, of any kind of movie, you know, from 10 years ago. It's got to be now. But our room was the same way when we finished watching. We were speechless, um, them included. And, you know, a movie like this, um, really for me what it was, and it's easy to get off and, you know, it was too violent, it was too this, too that. And I think having to understand um, that crucifixion was not intended to be swift, Crucifixion was intended by the Romans to set an example to deter behavior. Um, and when you watch this and you watch what he went through as a man, Jesus, uh, as, as well as, you know, what his mother was experiencing during these last 12 hours, um, and really seeing that for the first time played out this way, for me it became like one of the greatest love stories I've ever seen, which is, you know, the love story between a, a, a son and his heavenly father and the mother and, the, and her son and the way that um, their love and their convictions uh, really played out in this. And, you know, I think set against the backdrop of this incredibly challenging, you know, set of a crucifixion, to me, really made that film what it is today. And, and, and while right, it is a topic of eternal significance, we live in this temporal plane. So again, give us the times, Charlie, the time and the date when we'll be able to view this on Up TV. It's Palm Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern. So coming up this Palm Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Um, and all this week and all of next week uh, after Palm Sunday, we do a two-week celebration of Easter. So we have Bible movies, great Bible stories. We call it the greatest stories ever told, uh, greatest Bible stories ever told. Every night uh, at, in prime time, for, uh, all this week, all next week, uh, with a big marker of the Passion this uh, coming Sunday, Palm Sunday, as well as on Easter Sunday, I'm um, sorry, Easter weekend, we re-show Jesus, which was a sensational uh, 
ratings hit for us last year. People really love the uh, miniseries pieces. Well, Charlie Humbert, we very much appreciate uh, your time today, and we want to thank you. We look forward to our next visit with you here on America's Forum. Don't go away. More to come.